I'm going to take a look at the OASO indoor camera P1. Now, if you've been watching some of the product reviews I've been doing recently, we've had a number of items from this company. Um, the all go into the one app on your phone. They are all incredibly simple to uh, set up and to operate and to use. And the quality is just amazing. They're a 2K system, uh, and this particular one is an indoor camera, and it's got 360 degrees coverage. So this is the box it comes in. As I say, the OASO, um, which we're gonna go, we're gonna unbox, take the camera out, have a quick look at it, have a quick look at what's in the box. We'll go and set it up somewhere, and then um, we'll, de we'll get into the app and have a look at some of the images on the app. So let's go into the box and I'll show you what's in the box. Okay, so in the box, isn't it cute? Like a little, little alien, isn't it? Look at this here. Uh, you've actually got the camera itself, which is ultra modern, really, really nice uh, design, screen protector on the front. It's always something satisfying with doing that, isn't it? Um, where have we got here now? So on the back, you've got your so USB-C uh, power supply on this, and there's a reset button in here as well. And then just here below the camera lens is where you can store a micro SD card. It doesn't come with an SD card, so make sure you've got one. And as I mentioned earlier, um, ah, this has its own internal storage, so it's subscription free, but there is an option for cloud storage. So that's the camera, what comes with it. There's a three pin, UK three pin plug for a USB-C cable, which is a good length. I'll just undo this for you. Uh, which is a really super long, massive long cable, which obviously just plugs into, um, into here and into the camera. Then we've got the OASO um, instruction booklet, nice and simple. It's, the camera's got uh, dual Wi-Fi modes um, and it's got smart motion tracking and things like that. So first of all, the camera can be mounted freestanding, which is what we're gonna do in this demonstration here. But if you did want to mount it onto a ceiling, or a rafter or a beam or whatever, there is the mounting clip here and it goes onto the camera here. You can see here and here. So you can mount that up onto the ceiling and it also comes complete with a couple of screws and raw plugs for mounting this if you wanted to do so. So um, it's got um, infrared night vision on it and you can do direct video calling on on this as well uh, via the phone uh, via the phone app. Let's say it has got local and cloud storage. You've got live view, um, motion tracking, a whole host of things. We're we're, we're going to dive in and have a have a good look at some of the um, applications that this can be used for. But what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put this into a location. I might go and put it in, in, in my workshop, which is a bit, it's a bit bedlam out there at the moment, um, just for this demonstration so you can actually see how it all works. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm just bringing the camera, oh, I've just brought the camera, not bring it, I've brought the camera, hello, um, into our garage, which is full of junk at the moment. So you can use this as a security camera to Keep an eye on things. So I don't know, I've got quite an expensive lawnmower here. I've got an e-bike here. I've got some tools. You can have this very, very discreetly um, in a corner. I could mount this up into onto the ceiling up here. Um, but also remember, you can use this to monitor your babies, your children, your pets, your dogs, your cats, um, and things like that. Um, and as I say, the camera is super small super compact and I say that's just where we've got it now for this demonstration and um let's say you've got the video calling it can do and things it's uh oh, oh. so that's calling your family you can also leave a message to your family so what that is is um if i'm saying the workshop 
and I need to contact somebody elsewhere, I can press the button and I can make a video call um, via the camera. Now, so it's, it's, it's calling Your me. Your family didn't answer it. Uploading a message video for you. There you go. Um, how good is that? That's the first time I've seen that on a camera. Um, so I've got this set up here and what I will do is I'm going to just open up the app and have a just quick look on the app. So I, I'll go through in a minute how you set this all up. Um, but it's simple, 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 simple. Okay. So this is the AOSO app. I've got one camera here offline at the moment. That is another camera that I'm in the process of setting up. And these are other cameras we've got on our system and our doorbell. And this is one we've got here. We've called this workroom. And if I just click on to the settings, all being well, you'll be able to pick up some of the information. So you can give the camera a name. So we've called this work um, room. Is the camera on or off? You've got scheduling that you can do. You can share your device with other friends, family or members. Do you want motion detecting um, enabled or disabled? Yes, we do. We can have it on auto cruise. You've got notification settings here. So, well, there's, there's loads of diff, diff, different things and everything like this that you can do with the notifications. And um, you've got your local recording mode and general settings for your audio and video and what you can turn on and turn off and speakers and things like that. There's a lot of things on here. And if you just go back to the camera now, and this is now looking in our workshop um, where we just set it up a moment ago. So to set the camera up, it's literally you put the OASO app onto your phone. If you've already got it, you'll add camera. It will automatically find the camera. You connect it up to your Wi-Fi. You need to put the SD card in. There'll be a prompt, an audio prompt and things like that. Um, to set it up, it's done in a matter of seconds. So first of all, what we could do here is on this one here, we can quickly just do a panoramic of where the camera is. And so this is just in a workshop at the moment. This is just for demonstration purposes. And the panoramic here is stitching itself together. It's going back to where it was. And we can use the panoramic to look through the views of the cameras and where it is and things like this. And then from the camera itself, down here, we can use the rotating button. So you've got 360 degrees. And it's got 2K resolution, remember. And we can move the camera down and we can move the camera up and as i say if you were that's um that's the camera picking up i'm getting a notification that there's motion that's because the camera is um is working and we can if we wanted we can now do a quick video uh, so if we were here and we wanted to actually record this is what this is doing at the minute here and then we can stop this. This is going to show that uh, you can pay for cloud storage or you can go onto your local storage. And down here, do you remember earlier? Is it can do things, it's So that's calling your family. You can also leave a message. <laughs> isn't this fantastic, isn't it? We can press the talk button down here. We've got something what's called tone, so we can make our voice different to what it sounds like. So if you're a female, you can sound like a clown or you can sound like your uncle. Um, you can do tracking and everything on here. And I think what I'm going to do now is I think I'm just going to go and walk into the workshop and all being well, we'll come back in a moment and we'll get the camera to see if it's picked me up. Okay, so this is the camera that we're on. This is um, the panoramic. Do you remember the panoramic that we said before? Which I can use the panoramic stop to move the camera around. Or I can use the...
buttons down here and what we can also do from here as I say we've got all the controls but the most important thing what we can do if we go back here now we've got something called events and the events show what we've been doing so here now is what I was recording so you can see so are you watching me <laughs> okay so as I'm coming into my workshop the I've now got the camera set on tracking and I can set this to track human uh, humans only or anything basically but as I sort of move around, the camera is also tracking where I am. And I say, just to give you some idea of what the quality is like. I've got lights on here at the moment. If I turn the lights out, so that's just got some daylight coming through the windows of the door. But what is the quality like of the camera? That is the question. Are you watching me? I'm liking it. I am really liking this one a lot. I think this um, this video call is pretty amazing um, as an additional feature. So that's the first time I've seen that on one of these indoor cameras. So there are links down there in the description below if you want information on this. As I say, this is part of the uh, Oasu um, family of cameras they've got doorbells they've got solar ca solar cameras main power cameras lots and lots and lots of security uh, and if you're just looking out to get your very first camera maybe as i say as a child monitor baby monitor or pet monitor looking at your goldfish in the goldfish bowl this could well be for you as i say it's small compact stylish it's got the speakers and microphone everything built into it You've got the bracket to mount onto the ceiling if you wanted it to do so. It's got um, a good length of cabling. Um, and it say just connects via the USB-C down here. And you don't have to pay any monthly subscriptions. Uh, wonderful little camera. I've inserted a few moments ago um, some actual footage from the camera. So you can actually see what the quality was like over to you links down there below if you want to go and buy one or you want more information thanks for watching if you've enjoyed it smash the like button that would be absolutely amazing